Welcome back to Meyer Sports of All Sorts, the moral and social conscience of Cincinnati sports journalism. WCPO.com contributor John O'Rarty with us tonight. So a week from today, you're going to be in Cooperstown. Ken Griffey Jr. is going to be inducted into the Baseball Hall of Fame. You wrote a lot of columns on Junior. I interviewed him a lot of times. I never really thought you could get Junior to open up about anything unless you talk to him about his family. Right. You and I go back a long ways. I would put Junior right with Willie Mays, Johnny Bench, Roberto Clemente as the greatest players I've ever seen play. Why do you think he was so reluctant to talk about himself and about what he accomplished? I think he's basically a sh very shy human being, and it's going to be interesting to see how that translates into his speech on Sunday in front of potentially 10,000 people. Uh, I know that Cooperstown has offered him some help with the speechwriter. Ken is not comfortable in front of a camera, except when he's playing. And I believe, Ken, that he has a chance to give a good speech and really turn this thing around as far as his, his public image goes. But he's never really suffered with the young fans, but among the fans of Cincinnati especially, I think he raised a good point. Larkin's star is higher. He, was, he played his entire career here, basically had some great years here. Yeah. Junior only had a couple of seasons, so I think it'll be interesting to see how many fans come up from Cincinnati for this great week and coming up in Cooperstown. Griffey was the best player of his generation. I don't even think that's arguable. Right. Junior, Barry Larkin, Jim Bunning, right, the three native Cincinnatians right. in the hall. I'm not missing anybody I, I here. I think you're right. Bunning obviously never pitched for the Reds. Larkin spent his entire career here. Griffey spent the last third of his career here. Always got the feeling that neither the city nor Griffey really kind of embraced each other. I mean, what, do you well, get the same feeling? Um, in retrospect, yes. I mean, when he was brought here, and of course the opening game where they, he got that unbelievable ovation. Yes, he did. I think he was embraced. Unfortunately, the injuries got in the way, but to his credit, he never uh, said, woe is me. He never complained. He never felt as though he got a bad deal, and I give him credit for that. I thought he played as hard as he could. He wasn't a great fielder when he was here. He had basically two and a half, maybe three really good yeah. seasons. That's not what you expect out of a guy who what is the all-time leading vote getter right. in Hall of Fame and history. They never put a team around him. They, I mean, they were exactly. always that's, looking for pitching when he was so here. That's so true. They stopped spending money when they signed him, and then they signed Larkin to that right. deal in 2000.